Hello, welcome to another video where we cook meat and potatoes and take an elk and turn it into a tasty meal. Tonight we're making mushroom and Swiss burgers with a side of sweet potato fries. This particular package of meat though has an interesting story behind it. Tonight's burgers are gonna be made from the last known package of my first archery elk. I really wanted to get an elk with my bow and so we packed up seven days worth of food and backpacked in to our secret spot on public land. A cow elk ended up feeding within 20 yards of us, stopped broadside. It was an opportunity too good to pass up, so I was able to get my first archery elk. So here's an interesting twist to that story. That hunt took place over four years ago. So Kara's shot three elk with her bow since then. So there's been a lot of meat that's cycled through the freezer and this package just slipped through the cracks. But it looks absolutely fine. We're not encouraging intentional long-term storage, but it's nice to know that if packaged well, frozen elk can stay good for quite a while. So we're gonna make burgers out of it. Kara's way better at it, so I'm gonna let her do that part. Same as always, a little salt, pepper, and Italian. Mix it all up, and somewhat aggressively form patties to help them stick together. I'm in charge of potatoes, so I'm gonna slice them into strips, spray down a couple of pans with some oil, and throw them on there. A little bit of oil and salt on top, and into the preheated oven at 400 degrees. Back to the burgers. Get that grill preheated. Oh yeah, now toss them on. After a bit, flip those suckers. Now it's time for cheese. Kara doesn't want leftover cheese, so we're using all of it. Don't forget to grab your buns. Meanwhile, I'm slicing up some shrimps. Melt some butter in a pan, toss them in, lots of salt, and we'll let those cook down for a bit. Oh yeah, don't forget to flip your fries every now and then. Now, burgers are ready, let's plate up. All right, let us know in the comments who plated best. Marcus? Or Kara? Four-year-old meat, what do you think? It was really good. They, you couldn't tell that it was four-year-old meat at all. They taste amazing. Super yummy. Thanks again for watching another meat and potato video. If you're enjoying them, let us know in the comments and let us know what we should cook next. 